I know we're professional, but we've, when you play for Man United, you don't go to Man City. Cristiano Ronaldo, for me, is the greatest player that I've seen play for Manchester United. That season in 2007-8 was the greatest individual season you're ever going to see, really, in modern-day Manchester United. 42 goals, a double, and a legacy that was left behind. But right now, what we're seeing is Cristiano Ronaldo on the verge of joining Manchester City and tarnishing that legacy. This is why it's the reason I am enjoy to play here. I am enjoy to stay in this club. Because everyone sing, no, because they sing uh, my, my music, but because I think it's the best supporters in the world. And this is just the video I wanted to do is a, I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo is definitely not going to watch this video, but what the fuck are you doing, Ronaldo? What are you doing, my friend? This is a man who has released an aftershave called Legacy. This is a player who has built his entire career on what he's going to leave behind. And right now, he's arguably the greatest of all time. The argument with Messi goes on. But it seems like Ronaldo is willing to join City to follow in the lovely footsteps of Peter Schmeichel, tarnish his entire legacy with Manchester United fans just for a swan song and a bit of extra cash with City and the hope of winning the Premier League that you've already, you've already won that with Manchester United. You've already won the Champions League with Manchester United. What the fuck are you doing, Ronaldo, man? City, they have more money to spend on big players. Is it possible that one day, if they, had, if they gave you the right offer, you could play for them all out of respect for United? You think the money are going to change my mind now with 13 years old? I don't think so. I think this is not going to be the problem. Because if, if you will speak about the money, I will go to Qatar. Maybe probably have more money than Manchester City. But it's not about the money. It's about the passion. I'm, conf I'm, I'm not confused on one hand. I'm confused on the other. On one hand, look, I think we all know that Ronaldo, his love for United stemmed from Fergie rather than for the club itself. None of us are sitting here trying to kid ourselves otherwise, right? We all knew that. We've all known that the whole way through. But... Back in 2015, you know, he said that, oh yeah, City, doesn't mean it's about the passion, blah, blah, blah. Back after he's won the league, best supporters in the world. Solskjaer said it there. I'll bring the video up again. I know we're professional, but we've, when you play for Man United, you don't go to Man City. When you play for United, you don't join City. When you play for United, you don't join Liverpool. It's simple as that. And Ronaldo is now, if he goes to City, even it doesn't matter. How many games he plays. It doesn't matter what he does. He's now tarnished that reputation and that legacy with Manchester United. If he, prior to that, if he came back to Old Trafford, he would have been welcomed back as royalty for the rest of his life. Him and his son are really related to him. But instead, Ronaldo is willing to tarnish that legacy that he, you know, he arrived to us as a sweaty, spotty, greasy teenager from Portugal and Fergie helped him turn himself and use the most of his own talents and turn himself into the greatest player in the world. Then he got his move to Real Madrid and we, that, that wasn't pretty at the time, was it? You know, he's a slave. Uh, he wanted to leave after 07, 08. He didn't. He left 08 or not after that season and he was never the same player. And then he went on to do a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of good stuff at Real Madrid. And that's where his legacy was really built. But his legacy was started at United. I'm just, I'm staggered. I'm staggered that Ronaldo is willing to throw all that away for one or two seasons with City. Because he's a very, he's a smart man. He really is. He's, as I said, he's somebody who's built his entire career on what he's going to be remembered by when he's gone, on the legacy that he is going to leave behind. And he left behind one of the greatest individual legacies at Manchester United, certainly of the modern era. But he's willing to sort of piss all over that, ignore it all, just for one or two seasons. I, I can't believe it. And I, honestly, it's such a big fuck you to Manchester United fans. I'm not sitting here saying, oh man, Oh, I thought Ronaldo loved United. I thought he would never do it. Look, Ronaldo's fucking knocked us out of the Champions League and scored against us at the Bernabeu and Old Trafford. Ronaldo is a winner. Winning is his what he wants to do. And in that sense, when you take 
it just from that surface level, yeah, of course he's going to go Man City. But really? Really? You really want to do that? As I said, just a big fuck you to Manchester United fans and a huge fuck you to Sir Alex Ferguson. Somebody is my father figure, somebody who's helped me throughout my entire career. And then you want to go and do that to both United fans and to him? Man, that is a selfish move. That is a hugely selfish move. And obviously, to be one of the best in the world in, in any sport, you have to be selfish. You have to be wired differently. But I just never would have expected it. And I think it's, a, you know, if maybe if there were other clubs that could afford Ronaldo, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't be a conversation. But right now, with a week to go in the transfer window, Jorge Mendes is begging around trying to find Ronaldo a club. And no one wants him. That's a fall from grace. Oh, man. I can't believe it. I really can't believe that this is happening. Um, and maybe it won't. Maybe this is just going to be all a smokescreen. But I think uh, it strikes me as Jorge Mendes has done the majority of the talking rather than Ronaldo. But Ronaldo should have just nipped it in the bud there straight away. Because Schmeichel. Schmeichel, for me, is... I loved him. Van der Sar or him is probably the best United goalkeepers that we've had. And Schmeichel decided to throw that away and go and join City. And that that moment there where Gary Neville in the tunnel was the captain of United and Schmeichel coming out the front of City. That's exactly how I feel, or how I will feel, about Ronaldo if he goes there. Unbelievable that he would do that and tarnish his legacy. It's strange. I find it really, really strange. You know, he's done everything at United. We made him, in, we helped make him into the star that he was today. He went to Real Madrid and he established himself as the best player in the world, and no one could really argue with it. And then he went to Juventus. He's won Serie A. He's he's done plenty of Juventus as well. You don't need to do anything else, Ronaldo. And maybe he's one behind Messi. And I think that probably the ultimately is what's driving this. He's just behind Messi still, and Messi's got his move to PSG, and Ronaldo wants his step back into the limelight. And where's he most likely to get that? Maybe City next year. Fuck the memories of United. Fuck Ferguson. Fuck the fans. I'm just going to do what I want to do. And in that sense, none of us should really be surprised by it. But it doesn't mean that we can't be pissed off and genuinely hurt by it. Fucking Ronaldo. As if. As if. The greatest player that we've had in the modern era, arguably. Well, not really arguably, I don't think. He's going to go and do that. Mate, what a ridiculous decision by a man who is solely driven by the legacy that he is going to leave behind. Your legacy United now, mate, if you go to City, forget about it. It's done. And no, no, doesn't matter what anybody says, that will never get forgiven and that will never, ever be forgotten.